Okay, whew, um, got all the garbage bags into the car. He gave me all five for just 30 bucks. So if I even have two things in here that I think I can sell, it'll break even for me. So, um, and if it works great, I might come back and get more garbage bags. So they're so nice here. I love this thrift. Um, they've always been good to me and everyone. It's for a really good cause too. So anyway, I'm gonna get this home and let's open it and see what the heck we found. Okay, I am back in my office, obviously. <laughs> and I have all these garbage bags full of, I think there's shoes in here, like I feel shoes too. I have not looked through these. It's actually Monday, so I went to get these on Saturday. I went ahead and I, I just sorted some stuff I do have to list. I went thrifting as well. That'll be another video. But I wanted to wait and go through all this with you guys, so I'm scared. But this thrift store has been amazing. Like I found a lot of good stuff there. Um, they've always been good to me. So yeah, maybe they snuck in some surprises. Fingers crossed. Okay, this is a tablecloth, like a Walmart tablecloth. Um, oh, a Banana Republic sweater. I won't sell for a ton. I get maybe 10, 10 $15. Oh, this is actually a joie sweater joie is sold at nordstrom and it's so it's retails for a ton of money i can't believe i just pulled this out <laughs> i swear i did not look through this this is the first thing i pulled out well one of them this is one of the first things i pulled out and it's actually really nice this is a really nice sweater i'm shook and it is wool and cashmere which is great i'm gonna go ahead and put everything i think i can sell into one pile that sweater will need to be sweater shaped. So I'm gonna put stuff that I think I can sell into this pile, stuff that I don't think I can sell into this pile, and I'll figure out what to do with that later, but so far, pretty good. Okay, this is an Aletheia. I've never heard of that. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up. Skirts aren't my favorite thing to sell. Skirts, even if they're a great brand, just tend to sit for quite a while for me, but let's see. Okay, I'm seeing, oh, it's an anthropology brand. That's great. So I'm seeing sold comps look to be around uh, brand new used, uh, I'd say 20 bucks, so maybe 20 bucks. So yeah, I could sell that. Crazy. Okay, this is a January 7 dress. I think that's just one of those like really small boutiques. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. The, I don't think I can sell that pile. This is a Kin by John Lewis. I'm gonna go ahead and look that up. I've never heard of this. I've heard of John Lewis. So John Lewis is a nice brand. <laughs> Kin by John Lewis. Okay. Every sold comp I'm seeing is from the UK. I'm seeing a lot of listed prices in like the $25 range, so that's great. Sorry about the sunspots, that's just, <laughs> it's the afternoon here. I paid $30 for all of these, so <laughs> I'm really actually, like to find, like I've, I've found more in the first bag that I can sell than I thought I would find in all bags. Okay, these are some leggings. Oh, these are... Fabletics leggings. They are full length. That's great. Yeah, and they're, they seem to be like high-waisted, which is great. Fabletics is a like 15-ish dollar seller for me when it's the leggings. So I could definitely sell that. I've sold a lot of Fabletics in the past. This is Globe. A Globe graphic tee. It's made in Australia, I guess. That's what the tag is saying. Let's go ahead and look that up. I see some pre-owned comps for like $10. So I still think I could sell it kind of unique. I do like selling graphic tees. I don't ever expect to get a ton for them, but um, yeah, I think I could sell that for 10, 15 bucks. Here's the sock. No thanks. This is like a table runner, a Christmas table runner. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the maybe not pile. This is Pink Republic. That's just a very basic brand. I pass it up a lot. I see it all the time. Cat and Jack is a Target kids brand. I'll go ahead and put that to the side. More socks. <laughs> This is a Calvin Klein twist front sleeveless shirt. Calvin Klein is just really 
not even hit or miss. It's always a miss for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that to the side. I don't think it will sell for me. Or if it does, it'll sell for not very much and it'll take a long time. This is a Britney Black. I find that all the time again. That's just not worth a ton. Okay, this is a men's J. Crew polo. And it's short sleeve. I've sold shirts like this before. It's a good size, size large. And it seems to be in pretty good condition. So I'm going to go ahead and try to sell that for around $15. These are some bikini bottoms. <laughs> Oh, these are some, oh, interesting. These are some Lauren Ralph Lauren with the embroidery on the front mules. I think I could sell these actually. They do need to be cleaned up just a bit. These are some QED men's pants. Let's go ahead and look. I do see some listings. I don't see sold comps, but I see some listings here for like 30 to $40 for these. I think they're golf pants and these seem to be actually in really good condition. So yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Let's see. This is Chaps Ralph Lauren. Oh, just does not sell for me. Not my favorite. These are some Footjoy pants. These look to be in really good condition. Uh, good size. Footjoy is like a men's golf brand. So yeah, I'll take those. Looks good. I'm really surprised. Um, these are not anything. I'm surprised so far that I'm finding so much good stuff. I really genuinely thought I'd only find a few pieces that I could maybe sell. Hagar, it's like a suit brand for men, but it's very low end and it's just never sells for me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's the other, oh no, not the other. Let's see, these are some boots. They feel like leather. Splendid. These are splendid boots, that's crazy. Splendid is actually a pretty good brand. I don't buy it uh, for the clothing, I just, it doesn't move for me. But it is like a, it's sold at Nordstrom, and it, I'm gonna guess that these are, if they're real leather boots, these could sell great. So let's go ahead and keep these. I hope that there's <laughs> pairs of shoes in here, otherwise, <laughs> that might be interesting. This is Shine. Shine is like a brand, boutique brand that's sold, I see the advertisements all the time, but it does not sell for a lot of money, so. There's just a scrub top, Forever 21. Made in Egypt. What is this blazer? Express. Um, I've never really had a ton of success selling Express, but you know what? Let's, I mean, it looks really nice. It looks like in good condition, so I'm going to go ahead and try. Let's see what, maybe I'll look it up. Let's see what um, an Express black blazer. Um, okay, maybe I could get 20 bucks. It's worth it. Why not try? This is, <laughs> I love math. No. <laughs> okay, this is a Bonworth. Looks Eileen Fisher-ish. I've, I'm sure I've passed this up at the thrift, but let's go ahead and look and see. Yeah, this isn't gonna be really worth it to resell, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that. I'm thinking that these shoes don't have mates. <laughs> That's kind of a bummer because I do wanna find that other splendid boot. Maybe it's in here somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of one-off shoes. That's a bummer. This is an Orvis women's shirt. Orvis is very hit or miss for me, honestly. That's so sad. So there's not, I don't see anything else in here really. That's a bummer about the shoes because I would have loved to sell the pairs, but it looks like there's just their one-off shoes. So that's not gonna help me a ton. So out of this bag, I found 10 things that I think I can sell for, I don't know, if I can get an average of $30 including shipping for, each of those items, that's $300, and I spent $30 on everything. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Dimensions, no. Nope, let's see here. Leroy Knitwear, uh, maybe I'll look that up. I'm seeing some decent, there's some decent prices, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the keep pile. It's kind of cool. These are some Anne Klein pants, this is just, they don't sell for me, so I'm gonna put that in the no pile. Oh, this is just one big blanket, that's a no. This certainly is a mystery. Let's see. Cynthia Rowley sleepwear. Cynthia Rowley actually retails for a lot. I've had some, it's been okay, a few of their things. I do like selling pajamas sometimes when it's a nice brand. But let's go ahead and look up what that's worth. You know, I might be able to get 10 bucks out of these. So let's go ahead and sell them. Oh, this is an Eileen Fisher little shrug. It's cashmere. That's great. That's definitely a keep. I can sell that for sure. Oh, this is good. This is an Under Armour 
uh, half zip little pullover. Oh, it's got some pulled threads though. Oh, uh, yeah. If there's pulled thread, no. You know, I'm going to try to use a sweater shaver and get some of those off and just disclose it. I bet I could still sell it for 15 bucks. North Crest is a no. This is an Ann Taylor Loft silky print tank. Ah, Ann Taylor Loft is just, it rarely sells well for me. But you know, it's in good condition. I might be able to sell it for like 10 bucks. Okay, so we're done with this bag. <sighs> okay, not the best with that second bag. Um, again, I'm so sad about these shoes. <laughs> but still, I found a few things. And I've already made my money back. So hoping that I can find a few more. I'm just going to keep going because that one was kind of a bust. Old Navy, long cardigan. It's just Old Navy. But I still think I could get like 10 bucks out, 10 or 15 out of it. This is Victoria's Secret pink. It's, a, it's like a Sherpa though, like a Sherpa fleece. Pink is... Uh, not my most like exciting brand that I've ever sold. I've sold it in the past, so maybe let's try it. Yeah, I'm seeing pre-owned in like the 15 to 25 dollar range. So yeah, I think I could still sell it. It's not like something I pick up. I don't expect it to sell super fast, but okay. This is like a Tommy Hilfiger shower curtain. No thanks. <laughs> um. Okay, this is an H&M blazer. H&M doesn't have a huge resale value for me, but I still think it's really cute and in really good condition. I still think I could sell it for like maybe 20 bucks. So let's see. Okay. This is a Sunis half zip. Okay. I see a comp here that's like in the 25 to $30 range. So it has some embroidery on it, but let's go ahead and try it out. The heck is this? Oh, it's a crib sheet. Monto. You know, I have sold a Monto sweater before. This has like a lace trim at the bottom. I sold it for like $25 and it sold pretty quickly, which surprised me because this isn't like from a nice, it's not a super well-known nice brand. It's like a department store brand. But um, this seems to be in good condition. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it just because of my past experience. Try to sell that, who knows. Hmm, this is just an old navy jean jacket. Uh, like if it was old navy just t-shirt, or just something basic, I'd say no, but this is a jean jacket. Maybe it'll fetch me something. Darn, that first bag was so great. <laughs> I'm kind of like, dang, these, these other ones are not so great. Three down, two to go. <laughs> you should see the mountain of clothes I have here that are worth nothing. Um, but I still have a decent pile here that I'm gonna try to sell. I'm so sad about these. I will never let this go. Already part of this is a pillow. I'm gonna, no. <laughs> when I pulled that first bag open, I was like, I might do this again. Now I'm kind of like, ah, maybe not. BDGs, no. This doesn't look good. <laughs> this bag doesn't look great. This is a Kenyon, Kenyon, Y-O-N though. Let's find out. The comps seem to be okay. It's like a base layer. I'm seeing like 15 to 20 bucks. So that, that's great. Could be something. Old Navy again. These are just some like high-waisted linen. They're linen and they have like an elastic waistband. I might actually try to sell these. <laughs> they look comfortable and they're in decent condition. These are some Quicksilver like swim trunks for men. I have sold Quicksilver swim trunks in the past, like 10, 15 bucks. Let's try that. Um, oh, funny, Amazon Essentials. No, Brooklyn Underground tee. That's kind of cool actually. It has like the Chanel, the funnel fake Chanel look. I actually think I could sell that, um, that graphic type tee. Let's try. Oh, I can sell this. Uh, this is a vintage Victoria's Secret 90. I love selling vintage Victoria's Secret. It's great. So I think I could sell that for sure. Oh, cool. Okay. This is an Armani exchange sleeveless, like rain vest. It looks like that's kind of cool. It looks, it feels really nice and good quality. Armani exchange can be slow for me, but maybe if I find the style of this and kind of can take a pretty picture, it'll sell a little faster. I'm gonna count in the end. I've got, I've got a decent pile here with stuff. Okay, well this is kind of cool. This is a Phoenix Suns hat. It looks vintage. I don't sell a lot of snapbacks, but I've heard they could do great. And this is like all embroidered, looks vintage. Decent condition. That's cool. Another blanket. No thanks. Let's see, some Ann Taylor Loft camo pants. Mm, 
Maybe I can sell that for 15 bucks. Okay, Wild Fable is a Target brand. Target, though, has some cute stuff. And I, I've never sold it, but let's see. I th I'm going to try to at least sell this for, like, it's, it's cute. Like a $15 or $20 range. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm not even going to get my hopes up with the shoes, as we know. Okay, this is a, let's see. This is a Vince Camuto striped like faux wrap top. I think I could sell that. Vince Camuto sold at Nordstrom and it's, it says okay for me. It depends on the style. I used to pick it up a lot. And yeah, it does okay. So maybe. Okay. This is an Adidas. That's, that's actually okay. This is an Adidas Climalite. Um, short sleeves like a golf shirt. Uh, I like selling golf shirts. Robert Talbot. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Let's see. It looks like people are selling it for the 15 to $20 range. I could try. Let's see. And it seems to be in good condition. A good fabric. It's like another golf shirt. Let's go ahead and do a final tally of what I've got here. Okay, I have found 35 items out of those five bags that I think I can sell. If I can sell these 35 items for $20 each on average, um, including shipping, that's $700. So... Even if I don't get that much, that's still great. Considering my investment was $30. The issue is there, even the stuff I'm selling, I'm not like, I wouldn't have picked up if I was at the thrift. So I'm not sure, like I'm not sure how quickly it'll sell, but I do think it will sell, you know, eventually, as long as my price is right. My final thoughts are, this was a lot of fun. It was very surprising the first bag, and then it kind of, declined in value as I went along but it was still like it was a fun experiment I have a ton you guys look at this <laughs> I have a mountain of stuff to go through and like get rid of next to me so that's not as fun I'm bummed out about the shoes um would I do this again I don't think so because it's just a lot of work and it's a lot of stuff to go through when I think I enjoy the process of thrifting more. But I'm really glad I did it and I thought it'd be a fun YouTube video so hopefully this was fun for you. Obviously there's more. There are more bags I could pick up. So if you guys like this and you want me to get more mystery bags, definitely let me know in the comments below. And thank you for joining me today on this very fun adventure. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are doing great and as always take care. I will catch you next time. Thank you.